on the outside is JK. Oh, we've got one upside down. We've got one upside down. Scott, can it won't be good enough? And Brock Eckert is the Australian champion by two car lengths. Ash Media's coverage of the Australian Junior Sedan title proudly brought to you by Speedway Sedans Australia. Bag is ready as we get set for Heat 17, brought to us by Mag Distribution and Racing. They're away in heat number 17. This should be a blockbuster. Brendan Leroyd, the highest qualifier, goes straight to the lead. And if this keeps up, he'll start on pole. There's challenges coming from further back. One of those is from car six, Travis Armstrong. Jackson Lunch is another as they move down into turn three and four. One lap down, Brendan Leroyd is out in front. Caleb Lincoln in second place, then Jake Warren. Fourth place is Zoe Young. Wayne Firmston's there along with Danielle Ellison. Uh, two cars coming from the back is the six of Travis Armstrong and 76 of Jackson Lutt. They start on the back row and they're now mid-pack. Behind Danielle Ellison will be the 22 of Noah Van Ginnikin, Jeremy Gorski and Thomas Richter. Well, one car went very wide, has hit the fence, bounced off of it once. That was Jackson Lunt in 76. That's allowed uh, Zoe Young to go back underneath them. Danielle Ellison's right behind. Oh, dear, oh dear, big roll. Jackson Lunt and Zoe Young catapulted up through the air and we've got ourselves a red light. That was huge. No if buts or maybes. Crash crews very quickly on the scene. Taz ambulance going over. Hopefully they will not be needed. But a big, big roll over there. And, well, here we go. We're going to roll the car back. Gently, gently, gently. Ever been in a car that has rolled and you're upside down? It's quite, quite a weird feeling. And then it's even weirder when they roll you back up the right way. And there's no soft way of doing it. And it doesn't take long for the photos on the interweb net to start coming through. Yeah, we'll try and get that one up for you shortly from Angry Man. This shows uh, Zoe Young upside down on its lid and Jackson Lunt underneath, underneath or on top, but basically sitting on the, the base of Zoe Young's car. Yeah. Great to see them get out on their own steam, Alan. Oh, it certainly is. And just looking at it through the binoculars as she just goes and gets double checked out by the uh, ambulance. She, she was actually smiling. Uh, it's a grimace, I think. <laughs> the team at Toddy's Bar are having a good afternoon. Six laps to go. Brendan Leroyd is the race leader from Caleb Lincoln from Victoria. In fact, a swag of Victorians, Jake Warren and then Wayne Firmson. Travis Armstrong from WA who started at the very back of the field is there in fifth place. Uh, Jake Warren a little bit slow to get going and that's allowed Caleb Lincoln and also Brendan Leroy to skip the scene. Uh, the sixth car of Travis Armstrong back there in fifth momentarily looked to the outside of Wayne Firmston. Now looks to the inside and uh, goes underneath into fourth place. So there's some sort of a drive uh, from him. He has come uh, right through from position nine up to fourth place. Out in front though Brendan Leroy leads by some uh, 0.6 of a second the last time round. It'll be a bit more this time you'd suspect. Jake Warren third, oh, Wayne Firmston and uh, Travis Armstrong, trouble there. Armstrong uh, rescued it well but has lost his spot. Uh, and also going through is the 64 of Dan Danielle Allison. So head down the back straight once again and now uh, Travis Armstrong has gone back another spot uh, behind Noah Van Ginniken. Well, Brendan Leroy leads, Lincoln in second place. Then back to Warren, Firmston, Allison, Van Ginniken and Armstrong. And uh, the last car there is uh, Jeremy Gorski, sorry, and then Thomas Richter. So another lap ticks by, there'll be two to go this time around. Armstrong trying to fight back, but he's uh, well off the pace now. And uh, that incident happened down in turn number four. The race leader is well and truly gone, it's out by 2.1 seconds. And uh, it is all count of a nine, Brendan Leroy. One lap to go here in heat 17. Caleb Lincoln all by himself in second place. A gap back to the rest, Jake Warren, Firmston, then Armstrong. 
who's coming back through the field, back to Danielle Ellison, Noah Van Ginniken, and then uh, Jeremy Gorski, and the last car running is Thomas Richter. But put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, Brendan Leroy will start on pole position in the Australian final later tonight in car number nine, a highest qualifier. Caleb Lincoln is second, Jake Warren third, fourth place will go to Travis Armstrong by 0.02 of a second over Wayne Firmston, that was for fourth and fifth. Danielle Ellison, Noel Van Ginniken, Jeremy Gorski, Thomas Richter, and they were all that finished. Zoe Young, unfortunately, upside down. Jackson Lunt disqualified, no time for the race. The quick lap was an 18.025 on the very last, and Brendan Leroy, he won easily by 3.401 seconds. Of Junior Sedan Heats. Quite a few surprises. Okay, I've got Brendan Leroy with me. Brendan, mate, uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Another heat win, and then the bigger thing for you is you're going to start the feature tonight on pole position. Yeah, that's a bit scary, but I guess I can't be disappointed, eh? Well, I wouldn't be disappointed. I'd be fairly happy because it's going to mean there's a lot of cars behind you, but I guess it does put a bit of pressure on what's the plan, mate? Just get the setup right and uh, get to the front and extend the lead? Yeah, just try and get that set up right and just try and keep it smooth and stay calm. Obviously some people you need to thank before you disappear back into the pits. I have to thank my parents and my brother and everything for, you know, working on the car and just being there and supporting me and whatnot. And I'd like to thank Performax International and Gimpy Auto Records and Power Plus Race Engines. Mate, as I said to Matty Smith a minute ago, there's a lot of Queenslanders behind him. Well, there's a lot of WA people supporting you tonight. Good luck. Thank you. Our pulse sitter, folks, Brendan Leroy from Western Australia. It's a long way to come.